Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today I want to show you how you can create a Microsoft list or a SharePoint modern calendar using what Microsoft now provides out of the box in modern lists. After years dealing with the classic SharePoint calendar, finally Microsoft has made the modern calendar available for all of us to use. If you were used to the classic calendar, let me tell you that the new approach has nothing to do with it. No more classic calendar templates. Every single list you have in your platform can be virtually transformed into a calendar. So let's see how this can be done. There's only one requirement to transform a list into a calendar, and that is the existence of a daytime column in your list. In this one that I have here, I have two daytime columns, the start date and the end date. And those are the columns that will be used in the view creation. To create the view, you just need to go to the view selector, and then from here, click in the create new view. Once you see this window, if your list is compliant with the creation of the calendar view, you will see the calendar option in here. But first, you will have to provide the name for the list. Calendar is just fine. So select calendar. And once you do it, you will have to pick the column that will be the start and end date of each event in the calendar. In here, I will pick the start date and in here, end date. There's an option with the title that will appear then in the calendar. And for this specific list, I will go with the title. Title in this list is the session name. It was renamed in the UI. Title no longer exists here. But if you rename your title column, it will never be renamed in here. So if you look in here, the session name does not exist. It still references the title. I will hit the create button and in just a few seconds, you will end up with a modern calendar in your SharePoint site or Microsoft lists. This works like any other calendar. It's very similar to the Outlook calendar. You select the day, you have here the overflow of the events for the day. And when you click in one of the events, then you will see the event detail being displayed in the detail for the list item. Very simple to use. Finally, it's available. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to receive more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye-bye.